This is a little bit more of an advanced combination um, when we're getting into these weaves now. Um, but I'll just throw these in for those people that are a little bit more intense, a little bit more experienced. Um, okay, so let's have a look. We've got the one, two, weave, weave, three, two. So a weave is kind of like when you weave, when you not, it's not, a, it's not just a duck. That's a duck, okay? It's a weave. You're moving underneath a punch. Okay, so a hook may be coming around this way, and you're just kind of weaving in underneath it, okay? You're kind of just sidestepping and dipping underneath it, okay? It's kind of like a, a U, okay? So a lot of people will make the mistake of, um, they'll kind of just like, you know, kind of duck their body down like that, but that's not it. It's a weave is when you're kind of doing a dip, and then you're kind of making a small sidestep with one foot, okay? Like that, and then another hook may be coming along this way and you may be dipping in like that okay and the reason why I say there's a three that can follow it is because that, that three that front leg is positioned perfectly for a hook okay you're not going to move your feet too much just a little bit so one two weave weave three two okay let's put this one into practice one two weaves weaves three two Okay, got my hands up. I got my hands up this time. One, two, three, 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 two. Cool. Okay. Three, three, two. Yeah. Okay, so you can put a rope up. If you really want to practice this drill, you can put a rope up and hold it from one, like, you know, tie to something or whatever. And then, so it's about head height. The rope is head height. And you can kind of Weave in to the side, weave in to the side, so you can kind of move up and down, and you can do it backwards as well. Weave back, like that, you see, okay? So someone may throw a hook, you're weaving in, three, two, yep. And this does actually work in boxing. You, sometimes you may just only do one weave, so you may just go, you know, one, two, three, two, yeah? Or one, two, three, weave, three, two, yeah? Let's, let's add that one in for fun. One, two, three, sorry. One, two, three, weave, three, two, okay? So off that one, two, three, I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing a two, I'm just kind of weaving in two, three, no, three, two, sorry. So let's try that again. I wasn't planning on this correlation, but I'll add it in. One, two, three. Do it again. Let's move on. We're going to move on to the rips and then the weaves and then three, two. So we've got there the rips, rips. Weave, weave, three, two. Okay. So you may set this up with a one, two, actually. One, two, then weave, three, three. One more time. And the last one that we're going to do, one, one, rip, rip, three, two, our oh, weaves, three, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, rip, rip, weave, weave, three, two. This is a little bit over the top.
One, one, two. We rock, rock. Weave, weave. Three, two. Cool. Overhand. Five, four, three, and a two. Okay. So this one, you may step in with a one, but I wouldn't recommend it. You don't need to. But you can kind of, so you can step in with a one, but just step in. Don't throw the one and just throw that overhand. Overhand, as you're bringing your weight down, you're coming up with a five and then a four, three, and a two. Okay. Now with this overhand, you're landing on, you're landing like on their nose, uh, facial areas. I wouldn't recommend landing on their forehead because that will kind of probably break your hand. But um, land on their face, okay? It's not a straight two, it's kind of like an overhand like that. And your knuckles hit their face, their nose, or whatever, and you're kind of just throwing it like a two while well, you're kind of stepping and it comes down on the top, okay? And you're pulling your body weight down with it. So kind of step in, boom, overhand like this, and this hit definitely does work. So after you throw, bringing the weight down, as the weight is coming down, you're coming back up with a five, and then a four, and a three, and a two. Because after the five, you're kind of bringing that weight back a little bit this way, and then you can just throw a four, three, two. Okay, let's put this one into practice. Okay, stepping in, five, four, three, two. You see, what I think, what I found I did there was I kind of just like feigned with the one and then I threw the overhand, um, overhand right, okay? So I'm kind of stepping, feigning with the one, overhand right, okay? And that works quite well actually. One more time. This bag is destroying my hands. Cool. Another difficult one, okay? Five, this could be like a five and a six or a rip, rip, and then a slip, weave, three, two, okay? You're not really gonna pull these combinations out exactly, you know, on somebody, but it's just practicing the movements and going through the motions and eventually, you know, when you're fighting somebody, you know, you'll you know, pull out one of them. Okay, so we got there. Five, six, ah, sorry. Five, six, slip, weave, three, two. Five, six, slip, weave, three, two. Kind of started off with a bit of a fake one, two. I got it on that last one finally. One, one, two, rip, rip, weave, weave, three, two. Okay? It's quite a difficult combination as you can see why. One, six, three, two. Okay, now as you notice, these are long sixes and threes. Okay, so it's kind of like a 
a long uppercut or like kind of like a screw head. It's coming through the guard in the middle. You know, sometimes people have a bit of a space like this. You know, they may not have their hands this tight. Okay, a tight guard. Okay, they may have it there. Step jab. Throw that six. It's a long, it's a long six. It's not really a six that comes up like that. It's a long six. Okay, and then when you throw the long six, because you're reaching out quite far, you can throw a long hook. Now remember how I said, I spoke about that hook technique, how it comes like this. This time, in this situation, because it's such a long hook, we're going to land the hook like that. Okay, three, and then two. One, six, three, two. Okay, now, you know, when you put your arm in this position, you know, it kind of locks out like a pole and just kind of, smashes them with his knuckles over there and in the beginning it hurts trying to do this but you know it does become like a proper hit okay it's, kind of, it's quite an advanced uh, hit or technique so we have the one six three two very simple it's, it's very effective as you can see it's extremely fast Maybe I'll try to do from this camera angle. One more time. 